Yo, what is up everybody? So today I'm gonna be talking about how I edit my TikTok videos in Premiere Pro 2020. So let's get right to it. Hmm. Hmm. No. Um. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, that's the one. So the TikTok video that you guys just watched is the one that I made in Premiere Pro. I edited it in Premiere Pro, edited it, edited it. Basically, I took the project that was in Premiere Pro and I exported it into TikTok and I added some effects in there and I used the integrated app, the editor inside of TikTok. And why I use the editor inside of TikTok as well is because it's gonna help you perform better when you post your video and stuff like that. First of all, the reason why I think editing in Premiere for these videos is a lot better is because yes, I like to use the native app when I'm doing like certain stuff or easy stuff, but when I wanna actually make my footage cinematic or when I, I want to add my own like effects into the video you know I can have that capability in Premiere Pro why because I already know the program I already know what's inside of Premiere and I already know what I can do inside of Premiere and just to be able to reflect that in TikTok is it's just gonna make my life easier and it's gonna help me perform better in TikTok now don't get me wrong we definitely need to edit inside of the native app as well because it does help us perform better it does help your videos get pushed out better but I like to edit in Premiere and then upload it into my camera roll and put it into TikTok and then from there I can add a little bit of text and the songs that I want to use and when I'm in Premiere I basically want to implement what I did in Premiere I, I use the sound I use the sound from whatever sound that I want to use from TikTok I go ahead and I use it inside of Premiere I edit the video with that song or that sound and then I export it I put it into TikTok and it's already synchronized and I want to show you guys how to do all this inside of Premiere and then take it into TikTok so without further ado guys let's get right into it so the first thing I obviously do is I open up Premiere Pro and and I'm gonna name this file. I'm gonna name it TikTok Premiere Edit. I'll hit OK. All right, now that I have Premiere open, I'm gonna go ahead and hit File, New, Sequence. And basically in Premiere, you can make your own sizes of the video that you want. Obviously, I want the iPhone size. The size is 1080 by 1920. So I go ahead and I'm gonna click on that. And I already have this pre-made, but if you guys want to make one, you guys can go to settings and you guys can just basically change the vertical and the horizontal ratios. And basically it's created right there for me. Once I have that ready, I'm going to go ahead and double click and I'm going to begin to add the footage that I use for this TikTok video. So this is the footage that I want to use in this TikTok video. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them, import. To sort your clips in the order in which you recorded them, you just hit this button, sort icons, and I go up and I hit label. And it's gonna sort them out in the order in which I recorded them. So I'm gonna click on this first one right here. I recorded myself twice on this part, I'm gonna use the second part. So I set in and out points and I'm gonna go ahead and drag the video in. Go to effects control panel, rotate 90 degrees. So this is about the length of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. It's about 17 seconds long, so I think that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and add the other clip. I think that's perfect right there. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that in. Hit 90 degrees, rotate it. So I'm gonna drag to the part where I actually react to it. Ooh, right there. Cut again. Drag this out, see what, I, what else I do. Ooh, we definitely gotta get that part with the double chin. Perfect reaction, oh my gosh. And then just empty chair. So basically I just added those other clips so that you see the story's kind of being built out. I'm also gonna add another clip in the beginning where it's just kind of showing me typing just to give another angle. Right around there. 90, rotated. All right guys, so now that I have that cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I sync the audio together so that the song that I wanna use in TikTok, I can sync it up so that when I actually take it into TikTok, I don't have to do any moving or cropping. It's already synced up on the dot, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that. Let's get to it. So basically right here, guys, I wanna bring up the audio gain so that I can actually see the waveform of the audio in this clip. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I had my phone right there. I hit play and then I matched my lips, I lip synced so I can be able to do the actual audio and not mess up. So I did that on purpose so that when I bring it into post-production and I'm actually editing it, I can hear the sounds and I can see the waveform and I can match them so that when I export, they're all synced up together. We're gonna go ahead and bring up the gain, bring it up to 40. I know this is weird guys, but I wanna really see the waveform. I wanna see exactly when it starts and exactly when it stops. 
All right guys, so now that I turned up the audio gain, I'm gonna go ahead and play the sound from my phone and I'm gonna put it just kind of near my laptop. So you're just gonna go ahead and find the sound that you wanna use. So for me, I'm gonna use the sound that I was using in this video. I'm gonna hit record in Premiere, so this little voice over record icon, and you're gonna see it's gonna say recording. And I'm gonna go ahead and just play the song from here and record inside of Premiere. You're gonna go ahead and stop. All right guys, so now that you guys have that recorded, you're gonna go ahead and go back into Premiere. Then you're gonna go ahead and wanna bring up the waveforms on this one as well. All right guys, so now that you have that turned up, you can kind of find exactly where the audio starts, just about right there. And I'll go ahead and go to the end of the audio clip and I'll find the spot where it ended. So just about right there guys, where it ends, just a few frames to the left. Hit cut, delete the rest. You're gonna go ahead and just drag that back over to this audio clip so that they align together. And you're gonna go ahead and look at the waveforms. You're gonna match them so that they can start at the same time and they can end at the same time. And as you can see guys, the waveforms look kind of the same. As you can see already, they're kind of looked aligned. I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit so that it's perfectly aligned. All right, so now that I found that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut just that little beginning part out. I'm gonna go to the end and just clip off this end part as well. Just get rid of the excess that I don't need. And so now I know that these are both aligned and they're synced perfectly. So that when I bring it into TikTok, all I have to do is just add the sound that I want and it's gonna be aligned perfectly. Perfectly, I don't have to move anything. I'm gonna go ahead and continue and add a little bit of color grading to this. So you're gonna wanna click on new item, adjustment layer, drag this to the top of your clip, and adjustment layer is just gonna adjust everything that's under it. So if I put a color grade on top of it, it's gonna apply that color grade to everything that's under that adjustment layer. All right, so now that I know that these audio clips are together, I think I wanna add a sound of keyboards kind of typing out. Why? Because in the beginning there, it shows me kind of typing out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and import a sound that I already downloaded in my downloads. Import it, I'm gonna go ahead and double click, and I'm just gonna find a part that I really like. Let's go ahead and drag that right there. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and go to effects. I'm gonna look up something called constant gain. It's an effect, and it basically just fades audio in and out. All right guys, and that's basically it. All I have to do left is just delete. Make sure you guys do this, delete these two audio clips. If you guys don't feel safe to delete them right now, maybe you mess up or anything like that, you can just alt, click and drag, and then you can just go ahead and drag those out, and it basically just duplicates it, and then you can just go ahead and select these two and delete. And if you mess up, you can go ahead and just drag those back in if you don't feel safe. All right guys, so now that you exported your video, you're gonna wanna put that video into your phone so you can put it into TikTok. All right, so I have the video inside of my phone now in TikTok, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a... All right guys, so now that you have this inside of TikTok, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit next and you can go ahead and add your sound in. So I'm gonna show you guys, this is why we did that earlier. That's why we added the song in earlier. Same exact sound that I played earlier. I'm gonna hit the check mark. Hmm. No. Um. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. All right, guys. So now that I have that, as you can see, it's perfectly synced together. I didn't have to worry about editing or moving the audio. I did it all inside of Premiere so that when I brought it into my phone, it was already synced up together. And I love that so much. So I'm going to go ahead and add some text and effects. I'll go ahead and title it Presenting. Oops, I can't even spell presenting final edits to your client. Set the duration on this. All right guys, so now that I have that text done, I usually just hit next and then I create a title. I already uploaded the video on my TikTok, but just to show you an example of how to edit your TikTok videos in Premiere and put it into TikTok. So I just barely started uploading on TikTok just like a few weeks ago and you know, just put in a plug right there. Go ahead and follow me on TikTok. But it's been awesome just being able to edit these videos in Premiere and then take them into TikTok and basically already have that whole video done. All I had to do is just add some text, um, put a little title on it and add some hashtags and then boom, it's uploaded. All right guys, so that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you so that you can edit your TikTok videos in Premiere. Honestly, it's not that hard. It just takes some time to learn and once you do that, you can go ahead and make basic edits inside of Premiere. I hope this video helped you guys out. That's it for me guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.